Farmers hang prickly pear cacti and dust them with a fine white powder strange as it looks. It's actually part of a centuries-old process to farm cochineal insects. These tiny bugs produce carmine, a deep red natural dye prized across the globe. Carmine isn't just vibrant, it's valuable. It's used in high-end cosmetics like lipstick and blush, and as a natural colorant in foods like candy, yogurt, and drinks. Unlike synthetic dyes, it's plant and insect-based, which appeals to consumers looking for clean labels. Here's how it works. That white powder? It's actually clusters of female cochineal insects. Farmers carefully apply them to the cactus pads, where they hatch, feed on the sap, and secrete a waxy white coating to protect themselves. After a few weeks, the bugs are fully grown and ready for harvest. Workers then collect them by hand, dry them in the sun, and process them into carmine pigment. Tiny as they are, these insects punch way above their weight economically. In countries like Peru, Mexico, and the Canary Islands, cochineal farming remains a vital and surprisingly sophisticated industry, blending tradition, biology, and global demand for natural color, 